Are you guys hungry? Huh? I don't have anything. I don't have any food. No. Hey, Crow. What are you doing, Crow? Huh? Hey, Red. There's Millie. There's Millie. Millie. Yeah, Bert. Hey, Bert. This is my four-headed cabbage. One, two, three, and four. This was a normal seedling planted with the rest of the cabbages. turn into four separate plants somehow. Strange. So anything like that. These are perfectly round, hard little cabbages. Planted one seedling and it turned into four branches. It has a main root of four separate branches. So, I'm gonna feed this to the chickens. And they love it.
it'll be gone in about 20 minutes. This is a normal cauliflower plant. The cauliflower way down in there. This is also a cauliflower plant. It is not normal planted at the same time as all the rest of them. One single seedling. Planted from one seed. Turned into how many separate plants we got here. So how could one seed produce about eight different plants? Something strange going on here. another one that didn't develop like it should at all. It just got some big leaves on it. No main stalk, just some leaves. Lots of strange things going on in the garden this year. These are my turnips. They all came out kind of strange looking like this. I think I got, out of a couple hundred turnips, I got three nice looking round ones like they're supposed to be. The rest of them were kind of all crummy. This one looks okay. that one. Most of the cabbages came out pretty decent looking. There's two different types there. We've been picking them, cooking them, freezing them, dehydrating them. Still got enough for the whole neighborhood. They're all pretty nice this year. They're all average around eight to ten pounds. And after you pick the main head, you take off all the big leaves. And those little bumpy things will turn into new cabbage plants. They don't get very big, but we let the chickens in here. In about another month, and the chickens will have a ball. There'll be plenty of stuff for them to eat. Yeah, this is the first cabbage I picked. You can see how it's 
making a lot of new leaves. Chickens got to have their greens. There's a beauty. I'm going to let that one go till it gets to be about probably 20 pounds. These are all the uh, Brussels sprouts. Should have enough to get us through the winter. see any Brussels sprouts yet. Well, it should be producing in a couple more weeks. Our cherry tomatoes got to be very large this year. They're about the size of a Campari tomato. And these are heirlooms. Well, I'm going to save the seeds. And plant them year after year. We've already given away a couple bushels. We've got seven plants. We average about 10 pounds of ripe tomatoes each day. We've got tons of papayas. Each one of these things it's anywhere from from four to eight pounds each tree produces like 30 or 40 papayas we've already dehydrated about 50 pounds and they are delicious We've got three rows of broccoli plants. We picked all the main heads. And every day you come out here and you get a couple of quarts of these side shoots which are tastier than the main heads. We've got so much broccoli this year that we're just picking it and giving it to the chickens. They gotta have their greens. This is probably the last head we're gonna get. It's a main head, we haven't picked it yet. Because we're actually sick of broccoli right now. The freezer's full of it. We dehydrated a bunch. We use that in soups and stuff. And we really have no more room in the freezer for anything. Eggplant bushes got huge. We got a whole row of them. We've been picking eggplants for a couple weeks now. These are collard greens. We planted them mainly for the chickens. They've been eating off of them for a couple months now. Seems like the more you pick them, the more they grow. The 
use your parsnips. I never grew them before. I've got about, about six of them in here. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. I think they got another few months to go. I think it's like a big white carrot or something. But they look like they're doing good. Yeah, this is Blackie. She had no feathers for two years. And this is the first time in two years that she's starting to grow some feathers on her back there. Just in time for the cold weather. She had no tail. Now she has a tail. She had no feathers on her head. And now she does. She's looking good. You better grow some more feathers. You need some more right there. Yeah, you need some more feathers back there. Okay? Huh? You grow them feathers, you hurry up. She still has a bare butt. Leo, you leave her alone. You're eating away at this. down into the right into the heads that's the sweetest part and so that whole thing will be gone in another 15 or 20 minutes Whether or not these mutations are from radiation from Fukushima or corrects it from the BP disaster. We're out here in the middle of Florida. The jet stream just recently dipped down over us. Our spring garden was perfect. Our fall garden is starting to show some weird stuff. So I wouldn't want to venture a guess, but I'm guessing it's either one of the two. Our spring corn crop was perfect. The plants all reached the height of six feet. Each one produced two ears of corn. Our fall corn crop was a disaster. Some plants only reached one foot tall. Two plants reached six foot tall. Most of them were only two feet. The tassels came out. The pollen blew away. And then the silks appeared. This was not normal by any means. We have never seen anything like it before. <laughs>